Watcher everyone, thank you for joining me again today. I know when I posted my Royobi Tall Hall video previously, um, I gave you an overview of all the Royobi tools that I, would, I had bought. Well, I'm going to be reviewing the first one of them now, and obviously the first place we start when we get a load of cordless drills is the chargers and the batteries. So we're going to have a look at the chargers and the batteries today. Okay, we have got the Ryobi One Plus system. It's the RC18627 six port charger. They do a car charger, a fast charger, and a single charger. I'm probably going to order the car charger because there's a few more tools that I quite like the look of that can go out when we do stuff in the car. And I've also got two of these 60. 18 volt 6 amp hour lithium batteries these are the I don't know where the code is is it the 1613 looks like no no that's 1613 screws I don't know what the model number of these is but it's two of them and they're the 5 amp hour batteries for the 18 volt system lithium plus there can't be too many of those around Okay, let's open up these batteries. Hmm. Man of little patience, go straight in with the straight in with the, the Stanley knife. Straight in. I'm saying that a lot of these boxes they can't just be open normally, can they? Don't want you opening and they're saying use them and they're saying you haven't used them. Right. Okay. Well they feel fairly nice. This is like a rub a bit at the bottom, so it's not gonna harm anything when you put it down. Rubber feels really nice and solid two things at the side let's have a look we'll set our scale up see how much they weigh there we are one pound and ten ounces one pound ten and a quarter ounces so you know they're heavy enough weight if you've got something like the uh, glue gun I suppose okay so okay, batteries Have a look at this. Uh, am I going to try and not ruin the box too much? I can feel the mozzies flying on my leg. Mosquitoes bloody love me. The only thing in your corded system that does have a plug is obviously your charger. It's called a supercharger. That's a pretty small unit actually. I thought it was going to be a lot bigger than that, so I am happy. What else is in the box? Well, the box. We've got the standard literature showing the range of Roby tools. I'm going to have a look at that because now I've bought the... Uh, this one plus system with a few batteries I'm obviously going to be Im improving my range increasing the range instruction manual there I'll have a read of that later on off camera plug obviously with a cover and a, a wire a lot of people leave these wires tied up I don't like to do that I like to unscrew them because I know you can get a lot of uh, heat build up and charge build up in the wires so I like to undo the wires totally and that just cuts down the chances of there being a fire or burning your unit out okay so when you turn this thing on there's no on off switch anywhere and there's no light to indicate that it's on I suspect we're going to get some sort of light when we put, the, when we put this in there aha uh -huh, yeah you put it into charge, the battery light flashes. 
Ah, you can't just pull it out. You have to push the quick release buttons on the side to get it out. It's got a, do you know it's got a nice sturdy click when it goes in? That feels solid, a bit like a Mercedes door when it closes. You get that clunk click. I like that. And the charger comes up on the top. I don't know what red or green means flashing. I'll look at the instructions and I'll come back on that. Okay, this is interesting. I've actually read the instructions. I know that goes against man code and I should probably hand in my man card just for doing so, but you know. Here we go, bear with me because there's ladies watching as well. <laughs> I've got a cater for those as well. These will be lithium batteries that they come part charged. So they come already with a little bit of a charge in them. Which is why when I plugged it in it had two out of four bars showing on the graphic here on the battery. Now you will see that this one here is flashing green. I put this one in first and I did that on purpose I put number five in first and then put four because they charge in series so what I'll do is they'll charge the, the number one then when that's charged number two then that's charged number three and uh, but the others will wait and that's what this red symbol here is the light is showing that it's waiting to receive a charge so if I put another four in this one will be flashing green and five of them would be red one two three four five so this flashing green is showing that it is charging charging uh, green flashing when it's fully charged it goes green full solid green well obviously these will change to four out of four I suspect energy saver mode battery full energy saver mode green fading so instead of flashing it will fade when it's fully charged it will go green when you uh, red is red battery waiting battery is standing by awaiting its turn to charge testing mode so if you deeply discharge a battery the charger pre-charges the battery until normal voltage is reached then begins charge mode and that's red flashing so nothing to be worried about if you see red flashing doesn't mean there's a fault it just means it's doing a deep charge prior to conventional charging if your battery is hot this flashes orange Battery pack reaches a cooler temperature, charging will begin. Uh, or if it's cold, when battery pack reaches a warmer temperature, charging will begin. So a hot battery or a cold battery, it will be orange flashing. Red fading means the batteries are kaput. So, I know this is a brand new charger. And I know these are brand new batteries. And I'm not expecting anything wrong with them because they are Ryobi and Ryobi are a good make. However, I also know that battery packs are the biggest cause, probably, apart from hot works, of fires in a workshop. So I'm going to unplug these, going to move them into my house where I can keep an eye on them and time how long the charges take, and then I'll come back and finish the video. So I just got in from work, this is the next day. I charged the thing last night while I was watching the telly, and the uh that it does work in series so the first battery i put in took about two hours two and a half hours i can't tell for sure how long it took because i was watching telly and i kept looking down every now and then and it would be green or it'd be flashing green and red etc and then i looked down uh around about two to two and a half hours and the first one i finished the second one was working and that one took about two hours as well so you're talking from a new battery to charge with the charger takes about two hours so, and I think the fast charge takes is twice as fast. So it takes charges up a five amp hour battery in about an hour. This takes about two hours, but that you can only charge one, and you've got to be around to change it. So yes, this does take a little bit longer, but as long as you've got your head screwed on and you've got a couple of batteries in there waiting, you've always got a charge. I would say go for the six, um, the six port charger rather than the single fast speed charger which as I say does charge quicker but you know if you've got a selection of batteries you should always always have something on charge there um, quite happy with it um, I, I haven't done this yet let's have a little look let's weigh it up see what the weight of it is oops so I take the batteries out get the scales
the weight of the charger of four pounds three ounces i mean that's nothing that's light as you like isn't it it is pretty light obviously heavier once you get the batteries in all in all i'm quite happy with this it's a good little charger it help it charges six batteries it's different to the dewalt one the dewalt charger like this the fast charger you've actually got slots in the side which you can put usb ports in and you can charge things like phones from it you know it doesn't have that sort of functionality but then saying that this is only what is it 50 60 70 quid something like that can't remember exactly and the dewalt one's going to be a lot more probably a couple of hundred pounds all in all i'm happy with this uh, i'm glad i changed the fast charger for this one and um yeah i'd advise anyone if they're thinking about buying Ryobi chargers to think about buying this rather than the fast charger the car charger obviously got totally different functions you can take it with you but yeah all in all i'm quite happy with it hope you enjoyed the video if you like it give us the old thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button which i think will probably be down here or maybe even down here i'm learning how to do the subscribe buttons put that on the other day so that's a new feature on my videos um look down in the links below i've got links to instagram and twitter I'm trying to build those up as well if you haven't subscribed yet please do give us a uh, a thumbs up a subscription and hit the bell and i'll see you in another video soon see ya